Hey, Fight Fans, it's Ted Check. Tom Aspinall, the UFC interim heavyweight champion, says after his, uh, his victory, his 60-second knockout victory over Curtis Blades, he says he's not going to do anything else but fight for the undisputed title. And unfortunately, that might mean a little bit of waiting. But the guy has, uh, you know, he's been waiting. He's been waiting, and uh, so what's a, what's a little bit longer, right? Well, in the in the fight game, everything is compacted. Uh, your peak at the sport, you know, for a lot of fighters, is not very long. Um, could could be only uh, six months. Could be a couple of years, a few years. You know, if you're somebody like John Jones, you can stretch it out to to a number of years, uh, a decade or more. But that's, uh, you know, that's that's an anomaly right there. John Jones is, uh, you know, is is not somebody. He, he, okay, I don't I don't particularly care for the guy, but he's a generational fighter. But anyway, Tom Aspinall. Okay, so he uh, so he's gonna have to wait because because John Jones and Stipe have to fight. That's according to Dana White. They have to fight. Let's look at a at a story here. This was from MMA Fighting. Um, let's go to, this is sure dog. Uh, Dana White says, uh, let's see. Stipe and John who have paid their dues. They've been here forever. They fought everybody. They fought all the fights that you could possibly fight. These guys deserve to fight each other. I mean, this is, we're talking about a fight that has been in the works for a long time, for a long time. And, uh, it was supposed to happen, uh, sometime this year. It, it's been pushed off to November. Because of John Jones, he, he got injured in training. These guys deserve to fight each other. That's that's what Dana White is saying. Um, the other thing that's interesting is that uh, Miocic, this, this could be the kiss of death right here. Um, Stipe Miocic will retire after John Jones' super fight. Just always seems to be in the fight game, the kiss of death. You know, you say, okay, after this fight, I'm going to retire. You end up losing the fight. Uh, because your mind is already off on something else. Your mind is already off on what's life going to be like when I'm not fighting. Um, so, yeah, it kind of just seems to be superstitious wise. Uh, that seems to be the kiss of death. How many fighters have announced, OK, after this fight, I'm retiring and, and they've won that fight. They've won their last fight. I, I don't know. Just from from memory, it doesn't seem like it is. Uh, it's very often that that happens that that they win their last fight um and it, you know if, if you look at the records here um stipe hasn't fought since march of 2021 so this is like a three-year layoff for him john jones his last fight was uh cyril gun when he uh when he won the heavyweight championship uh march of 2023 so this is well over a year year and a half or more for john jones um but uh so so if if uh john jones oh and then the other thing that's interesting that dana white said he said that if john jones wins against stipe miocic he does believe that john jones will fight tom aspinall he said he he can't see uh he can't see john jones not wanting to test himself against Aspinall um, because Aspinall is, is the interim champ John Jones so he lays a claim to the heavyweight title you know not only is 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 Tom Aspinall the interim champ but he has defended the interim championship and defended it soundly against a high ranked highly ranked opponent in Curtis Blades who actually beat Aspinall before although that was by injury so, so Aspinall is, is legit. Aspinall is legit. And I think John Jones, uh, who's what, nearly 40 years old now, or I think he's 37, um, had a good long time at the top, 37 years old, only has one loss. And that was, um, that was from the, from the 12 to six elbows, um, in, in a fight uh, against, I oh God, I can't remember Matt something or other, um, you know. So 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 it's like a like a like a uh, disqualification. 
a disqualification. So is that really a loss? Personally, I thought he should have lost the fight um, against uh, Alexander Gustafson. Uh, I felt that Gustafson did enough. He took John Jones down. He's probably the only guy that's ever taken John Jones down, and he took him down repeatedly, beat him up on the feet, turned his face into hamburger. Uh, but John Jones got the nod. Uh, you know, that's that's never leave it in the hands of the judges. I mean, Gustafson did everything he could have possibly done to take John Jones out, but he couldn't do it. John Jones is tough. Um, but I felt John Jones should have lost that fight against Gustafson. Anyway. So, uh, that's the situation. Aspinall is going to have to wait and see who he's going to fight uh, after the November fight against uh, with, with Stipe and John Jones. So, more than likely, any type of title fight involving, involving Tom Aspinall is not going to, we're not going to see that. Probably not until like, let's say, at the earliest spring of 2025. Because this, this fight's happening in November. The uh, Stipe Miocic, John Jones fight's happening in November. So, yeah, you got to give it a good four, five, six months. Um, fighters to recover, build up the hype, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, spring of 2025 at the earliest. That's what I say. But, I mean, you know, you, you look at a guy like John Jones. Yeah, the guy's amazing, but he's 37. Clock is ticking. So, if he wants, if he wants to fight Aspinall, he should probably do it sooner rather than later you know until the uh before the flame burns out so there we go so let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts on it's a, it's a lot it's a lot to uh to digest uh so let me know your thoughts on all this tell me what you think and i will talk to you later